and understand there are, there are people sitting in this audience and people that might watch this recording that felt like at some point they were close to Allah. That some feel like I used to be a good person. Or there was a time where I was kind of much better than where I am. And you fell, you slipped. And you slipped really far. And you feel like you're so far away from Allah now. There's no hope for you. You've been listening to shaitan and you are now just lost, gone. And it is, I can tell you, as far as you think you and I are from Allah, I don't think we can compare to someone who used to be in Jannah and was put down, demoted into the earth. That's a pretty low, that's a, that's a pretty serious demotion, you know? The Qur'an is not there to condemn you to hell. The Qur'an is not there to let you know that you have no hope. The Qur'an is Allah's promise that you and I, no matter what mistakes we've made, no matter how far we've fallen, no matter how lost we feel we are, we are going to be like our father, we are not going to be like Iblis. Iblis, and ablasa as a verb even in the Arabic language, it means to lose hope. One of the meanings of Iblis is to lose hope. We will not become hopeless. We are going to maintain hope first and foremost in ourselves when you start telling yourself you're a lost cause. I'm just a bad person, what can I do? When you start saying that about yourself, then you have actually followed the sunnah of Iblis. He's accepted about himself that he's evil. But human beings have been given the opportunity. You will make mistakes. Kullu bani Adam khata'oon. All children of Adam are going to make mistakes repeatedly. Khata'oon actually is different from khati'oon even. The Prophet says they'll keep making mistakes. It's not even that you make a mistake once. You're like addicted to making mistakes. I'm addicted to making mistakes. And yet, those who keep on making mistakes, the best of them are the ones who keep coming back to Allah and keep coming back to Allah and keep coming back to Allah. This is the month that was given. This month is celebrating that opportunity to come back to Allah because this is when Allah threw, threw His rope down, His Qur'an down, His words down, that can keep us always and always connected to Him. You know, when you really miss someone, you want to call them. You want to hear their voice. If somebody's passed away and you miss them, what do you do? You play a recording of them. And you just, you know, watch this child laugh or this parent talk to you or whatever. When people reminisce or want to connect with someone, it's necessary that they feel like they're engaged in conversation with them. When we feel far away from Allah, we need to be in conversation with Him. We want to hear His words and that's what Allah gave us, His words. That's what He gave us subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the month, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's something so, so beautiful that Allah Azza wa gave to us that He, and the one who caused Adam alayhi salam to slip, He chains him up in this month. He puts him on the side. So you will not be distracted again. You, there will be nothing between you and Allah's word. You will be connected to it. SubhanAllah. سبيل مريح تنهد يا صاحي كي تستريح